do a quick example uh, using work energy and the energy store in the spring. So I'm just going to make up something. So suppose I take uh, a ball of mass M and I drop it over a spring. And so the ball is going to fall and compress the spring. And so this spring, let's just say, has um, a natural length, an uncompressed length of L0, and a spring constant of K. And let's say um, this ball starts a distance H above the top of the spring. So the question is, how much compressed? for the spring. I didn't write it all the way out because I'm lazy. Okay. So when we have a problem like this, we need to think, okay, first, am I using momentum principle or work energy? And you should say, say it, say it, work energy because we're dealing with distance and not time. So if we deal with work energy principle, the next thing we need to do is say, what's my system? I could do several things. In this case, I'm going to say, the system is the ball plus the spring plus the earth. And so if I include the uh, if I include the spring in there, let me pause. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Um, so that's my system. Now, if I include the spring in the system, then I can have spring potential energy. If I include the ball and the earth in the system, then I can have gravitational potential energy. Okay, so that's just going to make it a little bit easier so that I don't have to worry about the work done by gravity, I don't have to work, worry about the work done by the spring. Okay, so that's my system. Um, now the next thing I need to do is say I need to, I need to pick two positions in space that I can use work energy principle for. So I'll have it start up here and then I'll have it end down here with the compressed spring and the ball right there. That's two. Okay, well, we'll call that. Um, I maybe I maybe I picked these things poorly, but uh, so let me just go ahead and say. Uh, y1 is going to be the way I use my poorly worded system. And, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm tricky. I'll call this y equals 0. So y1 is going to be h, and then y2 is going to be negative, we'll call it s, how much is compressed. Tricky. You, w you don't have to do that. You can pick anywhere you want for the origin. Okay, so now I can use my work energy principle. And if that is my system, there's no work done, because gravity is part of the system, the spring is part of the system, there's nothing else. So I have change in kinetic, plus change in spring potential, plus change in gravitational potential, equals zero. So let's just, let's just do it. Zero equals K2 minus K1, plus US2 minus US1 plus UG2 minus UG1. Okay, uh, So now I can start putting in some values here, except that I know some things are zero, because what's the kinetic energy when it starts, if I at least release it from rest? Zero. What's the kinetic energy at the lowest point when it hits, when, it, when the spring stops it? Keyword stops. Zero. Um, what is the spring potential energy at 2, that's something, but at 1, at this position up here, how much is the spring compressed or stretched? It's not. So I have that. Okay, so now I can just put in my values. I'll do it right here. So I have 0 equals US2 is going to be 1 half K S squared. UG2 is going to be uh, negative g2, right, negative m s, let me call it g s, 
and then I have minus UG1 minus MGH. Now what do I want to solve for? I want to solve for S. So in that case, how would you solve this? I didn't give you numbers. It doesn't matter. Um, if I didn't give you any numbers, then you would have to use a quadratic equation here. So because I have 0 equals a s squared plus b s, oh, sorry, it's b s, plus c, so s equals uh, negative <laughs> negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus plus no it's not b squared minus four a c over two a. That's right, right? Two a. Right. B is it b squared? Ah. You know, you forget these things sometimes when you get older. Yeah, that's right. Negative B plus one. That's right. Okay, so then you just, B would be that value with a negative. Uh, C would be that with a negative, and that would be that. You plug it in. And that's how you do it.